Yeah, hello everybody. Welcome to Global Peace by 2027. Okay. Good Meeting. evening, everyone. Yeah, good evening. <laughs> Let's start our 40-day special prayer condition for global peace and peace in Eastern Europe. And uh, let's start uh, to read the, the World Scriptures book. Today is about peace and very interesting uh, quotes, very deep quotes. Let's uh, read them. OK, wait a second. Technical adjustment. OK. When the Cold War ended, the world had a brief moment of celebration, as if peace have had arrived. But uh, humanity soon realized that the end of Cold War did not automatically mean the advent of the era of the world peace. Fierce battle continue, even at this moment. Brutal massacres are occurring in numerous places. This is reality. Conflicts arise for many reasons, but uh, one of the primary factors contributing to the, the emergence is the deep-rooted disharmony that exists among the world religion. Therefore, we should uh, recognize how critically important it is uh, that the, the religions dialogue with one another, learn to accept one another, and harmonize with each other. In the modern age, in most nations, religious ideals have come to hold a place wholly separate from the centers of secular political power. And most people have come to accept this reality as the way things ought to be. I believe, however, that uh, it is time for the international organizations whose purpose is to support the ideal of world peace to reconsider their relationship with the great religious traditions of the world. At their root, human problems are not entirely social or political, and so social and political approaches will always be of limited, limited effectiveness. Although secular authorities rule most human societies, religion lies at the heart of the most national and cultural identities. In fact, religious faith and devotion have far greater importance in most people's hearts than do political loyalty. The time has come for religion to renew itself and manifest true leadership in the world. People of faith should feel responsibility for the plight, suffering, and injustices experienced by the world's people. Religious people have not been good example in the practice of love and living for the sake of others. And for this reason should engage in deep self-reflection. It is time for religion people to repent for their preoccupation with individual salvation and narrow denominational interest. Such practices have prevented religious body from giving the utmost to the cause of the world salvation. Our age, more than any other demand that we go beyond the faith and the interest of particular religion and put our love and ideal into practice for the sake of the world. In particular, God calls upon us leaders, especially religious leaders, and hope that we will stand against the injustice and evil of the world and bestow his true love upon the world. Hence, all people of faith must become one in heart in order to give full expression, both in word, in word and action. To God's passionate desire for humanity restoration and peace. For, from the viewpoint of God's historical dispensation, humankind is one large family that is to live by attending God and as a true parent, transcending national boundaries and racial religious differences. Humankind desired to cooperate as a global family and became as a single community. We have in an age when we can no longer feel that we have nothing to do with the problems of our neighbors or the suffering of other countries. We cannot ignore the reality of humanity ravaged by war, crime, drug abuse, pollution, and destruction of ecosystems moral corruption, and the scourge of AIDS. 
Today, with the eyes of history upon us, we must answer to God. How can humankind, whose mandate is to realization of complete harmony and unity, overcome the unfortunate reality and greet the coming millennium with hope? How can we realize a peaceful world in which everyone lives for a trust other irrespective of their personal and national interests? What is the new value system by which we shall attain this ideal? Rather than riding the chariot of science and technology, pulled by the horse of secular humanism, we must humbly seek the answer within our original mind. If we cannot find the solution on earth, we must find it through listening to the voice of heaven. Okay, so let's listen now the voice of heaven starting our global prayer chain. Let's invite Sailaja from India, Asia to say a powerful prayer for peace. Hi everyone, am I audible? Hello, hello. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you very good. Yes. Namaste. Yeah. Hi, Elijah. <laughs> Hi, Grace. Hi, Irina. Hi, Nick. Hello. Hi. Yeah. I you keep pass. my prayer simple as usual. Not much to it. What we've been praying all these years, all these days, it's the same. Hi, Arina. Nice to see you. Hi, Sailaja. Yeah. So, I pray to God uh, of all religions, Hindu, Muslim, Christianity, Sikhism, Jainism, Buddhism, any religion from all aspects, they teach us the same, to speak truth, do good and be good. So, if we follow the simple norms of life in our upbringing and in our environment and society, there would have been no hatred. There would have been no oh, greediness. There would have been no oh, fight for resources or uh, to prove power. So, basic, basic education with uh, what the religion teaches us is missing amongst our upbringing. That's where we all have taken to wrong paths whenever we got a chance between choosing two right or wrong. Wrong is always a shortcut, which takes us to the goal very easily. And most of us must have been uh, fascinated and have taken that, which has led to a lot of un unrest and impeace in our, amongst us. That same restlessness has led to disturbance, which has further aggravated into the problems what we are facing, that is global warming, pollution, in the uneducation, illiteracy, and uh, poverty, wherever we see so that poverty, lack of money, everything, because there were always two chances for us. And we, as humans, being human, chose whatever was easy for us. That's where we went wrong. Today, we are correcting ourselves to come back to the righteous path, get back to the roots. This technology has overtaken us in a lot many ways. We are trying to detoxify ourselves from technology too. If, if we have to evaluate each one of us, we might be spending five to seven hours on technology because of which our own unrestlessness and our own uh, illness have increased and we have become very prone to a lot of uh, injustice in our own life we, to our own people. We don't give time. We don't share values. We don't do our role properly in the upbringing. What a, the way I was brought up and the way my child is brought is a lot of difference because of the changes that have happened. Until we realize and accept the technology as a boon and not make it a bane, it will not give us the results what we are expecting. So I pray to God that there will be some sanity in all of us. In the way we use our technology, in the way we communicate, in the way we look up to others, and we pray for peace for everybody. For first and foremost, health is important. I pray each one has a good health. By the, and thank God that he has given us a wonderful day to see all of us and pray for others. So if we have good health, we can keep doing it this day on day. I, I expect God to give us all people who are part of this, Arena, Grace, Nick, and myself, my own family, they, they should be healthy. And rest, the progression. 
the wealth and the prosperity to all of us and to all the people who listen to us day in, day out or contribute by doing the prayer at their own convenience. So let there be peace in everybody's house and then let there be harmony across the globe and let me shine for a better tomorrow. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Sailaja. Namaste. <laughs> India, namaste. Yeah, let's invite now Irina. Please, Irina. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Let us pray. Uh, our most beloved Heavenly Parent, today we have gone beyond our half of the 40 day condition and we are progressing towards the end. Father, thank you for bringing us here together. Thank you for the persistence, Father. It's not easy for people to get time every day, but you really are leading us and you have shown us that it's good that we pray together for peace. So Father, we've come to pray for peace. Please let there be peace in this world. Let there be peace in all countries and especially in Russia and Ukraine at this moment. Father, we pray for peace that they can realize that living in war and uh, in greed and in anger does not pay. Thank you, Father. Today, would I would like to focus on the, the children that we have because, Father, they are the ones who are going to carry on our mantle. So I want to pray for all our children, all the youth in the world, and all people especially those youth who are inclined towards your will. Please make them be more focused. Let them learn more about you. Let them do things in their nations that will bring about peace. Let us have many peace movements by the youth. Let us have them work on environment. Father, we want to put all the youth in the world in your hands today. Bless them and those who have families, bless them to know how to lead their families or to work in their families, to bring love in their families. Father, I want our youth to shine, taking our thoughts even higher. Father, I want our youth to connect with you and to understand you even better than we do so that they can do wonders in this world. Let them build a world which is the closest to the Garden of Eden, which you wanted in the very beginning. Let them be happy. Let them be prosperous, especially financially. We need them to uh, prosper so that they can help others who are not in position to get money. Father, please put our youth together we know that many of them, especially in Africa, have been infected by the AIDS disease and many other diseases, but we know that AIDS comes because of lack of uh, purity. So we pray that all our youth can learn to be pure in their families, husband and wife, in the things they do in their schools, in their homes, if they are not ready for school age, all of them, Father, please take care of them and let them cherish their bodies because their bodies are an invitation of you to live in them. Father, we want to put all our descendants in your hands. Please be with them. Let them fulfill their destinies that you originally wanted them to have, even in their own unique ways. Thank you for tonight. I continue to pray for everyone on this forum, their families, their countries. I continue to pray that we get even more people who can come in 
either listening in or being with us on the forum as we pray for peace in this world. I want to report all this further in the precious name of your beloved son, Aju, Aju, Amen. Aju, Aju. Aju, Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Irina. Let's invite now. Thank you, Irina. Thank Lovely you. That was. Okay, Grace, please join the prayer. Okay. Uh, good evening to you once again. Uh, let's humble ourselves and uh, say a word of prayer. Most loving heavenly parent, our most precious true parents of heaven, earth, and humankind, good evening. Thank you so much, heavenly parent, once again, to allow us to unite, to come on this platform, heavenly parent, as we proceed with this 40-day condition, heavenly parent, for peace on the, in this world, but centering on Ukraine and Russia. A loving and most precious heavenly parent, According to True Father's word, Heavenly Parent, we have used the religions, Heavenly Parent, to disrupt harmony, to disrupt peace, Heavenly Parent. Heavenly Parent, we used, out of ignorance, we started criticizing each other of different, different faith, Heavenly Parent. And this one created havoc, Heavenly Parent. Heavenly parent, even in my country, Uganda, at one time, heavenly parent, the religious lead, there were religious wars, heavenly parent, where people perished. Heavenly parent competing, each religion competing with the other. And we lost so many ancestors, heavenly parent, by that time. And heavenly parent, that has continued silently, where people have forgotten that they are children of God, where they have forgotten that they are brothers and sisters, heavenly parent, and they started killing each other and hurting each other under the guise of uh, religion, heavenly parent. We are so sorry, heavenly parent, because we continue to see the same thing happening even in the world today, each one thinking that they are better than the other. But we know very well that you did not create the religion. Your religion is love. Your religion is peace, your religion is harmony, and this is what you want from us, Heavenly Parent. We are so sorry that out of ignorance, we failed to understand your love. That out of ignorance, we accepted the devil to lie to us that religion can bring peace, Heavenly Parent. We are so sorry, Heavenly Parent, that even this religion has continued, Heavenly Parent, to penetrate in the hearts of different leaders, Heavenly Parent, all over the world and the traditions that you never created, each country thinking that it is better than the other, each religion thinking it is better than the other, each race thinking that it is better than the other, Heavenly Parent. We are so sorry, but Heavenly Parent, true parents are telling us that we as religious people, Heavenly Parent, we need to stand out of this King of Kings and know that the religion that you know is love, is harmony and living for the sake of others. We pray for wisdom, Heavenly Parents, so that we can be able to practice this, that we forget our past, our religious beliefs, our traditional beliefs, and concentrate on your principle of love, Heavenly Parent. We come here, Heavenly Parent, to portray the same thing, Heavenly Parent, the same love for the people in Ukraine and Russia, for the people all over the world, Heavenly Parent, that this is the little that we can do, Heavenly Parent, to contribute on the peace building process in those countries. We are far away, but Heavenly Parent, we know that you are, your omnipresence, Heavenly Parent, is working so hard. And you can hear us and you can understand what we are communicating right now. We are praying for peace in those countries. We are praying for peace in families. We are praying for peace in different regions, Heavenly Parent. We are praying for peace, Heavenly Parent, to exist even in the children, Heavenly Parent. Heavenly Parent, like our sisters have prayed, we need also to concentrate on the youth, Heavenly Parent. The young people, our children, those children, Heavenly Parent, who are going to hold these, this world, Heavenly Parent, and lead it further, King of Kings. That Heavenly Parent, let us plant a good seed of peace and love and harmony in their hearts. That let us stop, Heavenly Parent, discussing issues that do continue to, die, to, to divide people. 
but only to unite them heavenly parents. Let us raise other people's children as if they are our own heavenly parents. Because when we are doing that, even our children are learning heavenly parents to live for the sake of others. They are learning that we are existing as one, that there is no difference heavenly parents. Heavenly parent, we, we really pray that this peace can come as soon as possible. We are very lucky that heavenly parent, we are living together with our true mother. Who is still heavenly parent working so hard with the feminine aspect heavenly parent of your heart to show us that heavenly parent we have to live with passion we have to live under the logic of love and we have to live under the logic of harmony heavenly parent let us who have learned about this practice at, practice this and then we become the center of attraction from other people and they can realize that we are a people who really uh, are following your ways, that we are people, heavenly parents, who are creating peace, that we are people they desire to live with. Thank you so much for this evening. Bless everyone on this platform. Bless their families, bless their children, bless their all the works of their hands, bless their communities and their countries, bless all the livestock, whatever that they are doing, heavenly parent. Every business, every service that they are offering to the community, let it be multiplied that heavenly parent they can emerge successful so that heavenly parent you can also we can also be able to return joy unto you. Heavenly parent would like to conclude this evening, King of Kings with praise and parent with love and gratitude. Thank you so much. I report this in the name of our most precious two parents, uh, Jew. Thank you, Grace. That was very uh, lovely and nice. Uh, Thank you very much, Grace. Amen, 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 Adieu. Uh, <laughs> okay, please uh, join my prayer too. Uh, dear Heavenly Parents, we are really happy to meet you here today. Today is a special day because we meet you and we have one more day full with you and you through love. We, um, we are so happy and uh, thankful and I pray for all families who are here, um, for Irina's family in Uganda, Africa, and uh, for Grace family in Uganda, Africa, and uh, for uh, Shailaja family in uh, um, India, Asia, and uh, me, I'm in Europe. Uh, dear Heavenly Parents, we are on the three continents and uh, uh, we pray, dear Heavenly Parents, for all human salvation, for all 7 billion plus people. Everybody needs killing now because uh, we see if they kill now, there was like um, only in the movie, all of these wars and strikes, but now it is going globally and we have this uh, um, leaders uh, just talking with each other with sanctions and all of this uh, of course from one part of uh, there is a big development that you lead the world to the goodness and we see the laws is uh, ruling the world and the, uh, all these principles that uh, you are uh, put in the nature the human uh, inherit step by step but also is uh, another part that uh, uh, evil also is influencing people and they, they are doing crazy things, uh, even worse in this peaceful time and this golden time as we are living in the second coming Messiah through parents. Dear Heavenly Parents, uh, I need, I uh, uh, pray uh, that uh, today what I practice, I practice what Messiah second coming inspire us, absolute faith, absolute love and absolute obedience in you. And we know that uh, with absolute faith, as even if Jesus said, with the faith, we could move even the mountain. So with, with our faith, with our this prayer of faith, when you, we know that your work will be done by 2027, the global peace and the, everything is ready. So uh, please open the eyes of all people, of all humankind, let them see visions and uh, dreams uh, with you and uh, with you through love that uh, all this culture will change, the culture of war will change to culture of peace and through love. And living for the sake of others. Dear Heavenly Parents, uh, we uh, in these uh, days, uh, we, uh, some Christians celebrate uh, that Jesus was serving for 40 days and then he went to the paradise. And uh, we know uh, what is uh, our brother Jesus and how he was serving the world. And in uh, and, and his time, he uh, no, almost nobody um, went with him. And uh, therefore, he go on the cross. But uh, 
Uh, after this, they start Christianity and they, they develop this modern uh, democratic world uh, that uh, we understand that we all are brothers and sisters. And uh, unfortunately, we still in some places are fighting and uh, less like in Eastern Europe, but we pray, dear Heavenly Parent, please illuminate you because uh, children are fighting without parents. So uh, now uh, you send true parents, uh, your representative on those uh, now and let them uh, listen the true parents word and uh, stop the word choose the word uh, and make peace uh, right now by 2027 the all world and this is possible because you raise the humankind to the highest level of uh, development highest level of uh, um intellect that uh, we care for each other we understand each other and we see this uh, on the news and the social network everywhere we are interconnected and we see all of this uh, development that you bring and we are so happy for this dear heavenly parent yesterday was international children's day so we pray uh, for all children dear heavenly parents we pray uh, for purity for that you want to give um the pure lineage to your children for adam and Eve, but the, your lineage was stained and uh, unfortunately it's recovered now just uh, these days and it is coming by, by marriage blessing to the many people and many families so uh, uh, we pray for our children that they will uh, inherit this uh, pure love um, and they uh, will pass it to the billions of generations and also forever dear heavenly parents we pray for this for purity of uh, love for purity of uh, the planet we need to clean everything very quickly in this uh, time uh, as golden time we're living and with true parents on the earth uh, and uh, pass it uh, just goodness to our future generations um, it's just nonsense to write these stories and fight over, over different things. But uh, if leaders of the world will be illuminated by you, by religious leaders, that uh, they will, uh, uh, they uh, are living forever. And uh, if they make sin, they will, uh, they will have to pay indemnity in the spiritual world, and also uh, their descendants will pay indemnity. So we don't need this uh, they're supposed to understand that just making goodness this is building uh, brick by brick uh, the world of peace dear heavenly parent um, we pray for today and please uh, receive this uh, uh, day the second of june 2022 is historical day and we want to do to live as jesus inspire us as one day um as thousand years and a thousand years like one day we want we we are really feel it uh, uh, from morning till evening that we are in the special time because it's just many things going around but uh, all of this e you want you are leading the world to the global peace and we want to have faith dear heavenly parents uh, great faith that this you will will be done enough is enough um, stop the war and make peace and uh, finish uh, global uh, peace building by 2027 and uh, uh, ultimate uh, kingdom of heaven and all corner of the world changing book to be built by 27 at least one third of the uh, population to uh, understand you and to accept you and receive this education together with you dear heavenly parents we are so thankful for this we are so thankful that, that we could uh, meet you and feel you we could meet you really as our father as our parent and we want to take this spirit uh and the um when we are sleeping where we are when we are working when when we are doing everything and just thinking about you and thank you so very much that you give us tips every day how we could live better with you please uh, receive this uh, short report and my name is nikolai serpala uh, blessed friend, friend family adieu amen 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 yeah thank you thank you thank you nick yeah that thank was you. long and elaborate as you should Namaste. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, pray for you. Stay happy, healthy. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Meet God tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.